Workers at a Holland car battery plant, they are still on strike, but Clario says it has reached another agreement to get them back to work after the first two tries failed. So will the third time be the charm? Chase Bachman has been following the story and joins us now live. Chase, what comes next? Well, Mel, Jeff, behind me, the picket line is still going on, but Thursday morning, workers will have the chance to review the details of this tentative agreement, and Friday, they have a chance to vote on it, which means they could be going back to work. Tonight, Clarios workers are hopeful to get back to work. Personally, at this point, I am ready to get back to work. I think most of what I had an issue with, with as far as the contract is, was rectified. So at this point, I, per, me personally, I'm ready to get back to work. The battery plant and the United Auto Workers reached a tentative agreement today. The agreement would end the strike, which has been going on since May 8th. Taking into consideration that we're on the sixth week of being on strike, um, a lot of people's financial situation has gotten different since then, so that plays a major factor into it. It was that day about 500 workers walked off the job after months of contract talks. The union says it's fighting against company proposals that would require 12 hour shifts with no overtime pay after the eighth hour and shrinking the pay workers get for battery pieces made. UAW President Bruce Baumhauer said the earlier deal sent workers backwards. These guys make record amounts of batteries every single day and it's heavy work and it's, and it's tough work and they've, they've done it and they want to be compensated too. Baumhauer said workers made record numbers of batteries every day, but since the strike began, the plant has been closed. Now, today's tentative deal offers hope that employees make better pay and the auto industry gets more batteries. As we said, workers can review those details tomorrow and they have a chance to vote on it Friday, which means they could be going back to work if it's voted yes. Reporting live in Holland, Chase Bachman, WTOL 11.